Now to a shooting scare outside of San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria's home. Gunfire erupted while protesters were gathered outside last night and today. The mayor and the police are reacting. Fox 5's Ashley Jacobs, she starts us off live outside of San Diego Police Headquarters. Ashley? Well, good afternoon to you. It was just around 9 o'clock last night that a gunshot was heard as those protesters were rallying outside of the mayor's home. Now, no one was hit, but the mayor is condemning the act, saying everyone should have a right to safely and freely protest. <laughs> The man yesterday shot because he thought he had that white privilege, that he could go into his home, retrieve a gun for people who were peaceful, who were not armed, who had not damaged his property, his home, were not even trying to get to him. This man faces several charges, including assault with a deadly weapon, illegal discharge of a firearm, and making a deadly threat. San Diego police took Lonnie Crawford into custody Monday night after he allegedly fired at a group of protesters outside Mayor Todd Gloria's Mission Hills home. He has not protected black lives. He has not protected um, the rights of protesters' lives um, at any step in his uh, career uh, as mayor. Activist Atasha Williamson organized the protest centered around improving rights for the homeless. We showed up at Todd's house because he sends uh, law enforcement officers and people to the homeless population um, to their homes every single day. People began gathering outside of Mayor Gloria's home shortly after 8 Monday evening. Photographer Joe Oriana took these photos, including this one of the suspected shooter who Williamson says also drove his truck swerving toward her and others in a possible attempt to strike the protesters. We have a right to be free to protest, to be safe to protest. In a statement to Fox 5, Mayor Gloria said all San Diegans have a constitutional right to peacefully assemble and protest without fear. He acknowledged that the protest outside of his apartment building turned violent when a man not associated with the protest senselessly fired a gun and said he is grateful for our police department's quick work that apprehended the suspect who is now in custody facing felony charges. And over the years, Williamson has been very vocal about her mistrust when it comes to multiple police departments within the county. But San Diego police did respond in a timely manner, getting there and taking their suspect into custody within about 30 minutes. Reporting live downtown, Ashley Jacobs, Fox 5 News.